Anybody want to use this as a slide? So it's open for you. Andy, that's uh, third defeat on the bounce. Um, similar situations. Connick had a number, started very slowly, 14 points down, had opportunities in the first half but didn't create, didn't take them, and then sucker punch tried just on half time. You, you know, if that keeps happening, you're not, you're not going to get the wins column moving. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> and what do you think is the cause? Because <laughs> you had these you know, the Irish commentators, you had opportunities on, you know. Oh, the, we had, we, William, we had multiple, and uh, yeah, we said the, the, the message at half time individual error is killing us and we came out in the second half and we repeated that so uh, it, it's very frustrating the I'm always going to be a glass half full so I'm going to look at the you know there, there were moments there where our set piece was very functional and actually either stopped or won quality ball there was moments there where our defense held out a very good ball side and put them under pressure there was moments there where our attack actually caused them some issues, but there were far too many moments where we had opportunity and we didn't capitalise. So that's, you know, it's, it's not broke for us, but it's certainly not where it needs to be. And, and you're right, um, three games on the spin, we can, we've got a, a repeat of things that are happening. We've got to fix that pretty quickly. What do you think is the slow start issue? Because it sort of happened last week a little bit, but tonight it was very marked. It, you know, it, Looked at the players were just slightly switched off, and you know the Bulls were e were well in just to grab the opportunities. Yeah, I mean the kick off to the game, um, they kicked deep to the right, you know, our, our, our bottom right corner. We kicked the ball out. The one thing we said going into the game: don't give balls access into the into the 22 because that's where they get their fuel. So within 15 seconds, we've given the balls access into the 22, which leads to a penalty, which leads to a five metre line out and we've just given them what they want so um, yeah but that comes down to individual error uh, which is exactly what we said there before so listen we need to be better we know that um, third game of the season and we've got a bit of work to do but we've got enough time to get it right when you're chasing a game like that i mean mac hansen really tried to get himself involved he, he chased around he worked very very hard but the final ball there sometimes was just maybe a bit optimistic and those situations became bit frantic. Is that something that also you want to get under control, that you're, you're more in control of what you're actually doing? Yeah, I, I, you know, I'll, I'll pay a compliment to our fighting spirit, because, you know, and that's what kind of is. You, we had a lot of fighters out there, but we were individual in our fight um, often, and, and there was that frantic nature about it. But, you know, there's a lot of character and a lot of strength and, and uh, of character in that team. They'll never die wondering, but um, we'll die slow poisonous death if we don't get more collective in the things we're doing and if we don't if we don't eradicate some of those areas there. Monster up next week on the, the new pitch. Um, you get back Sunday morning. It's it's gonna it's a fast old turnaround and it's gonna be a whole new experience playing on that because you haven't had an opportunity to even you haven't seen it completed. It is completed I believe. I saw a photo today so it looks pretty sharp but um, you're right we haven't trained on it. We've got a long flight back and then we've got Munster on Friday night. Um, but listen, we knew that coming out here. We knew what our draw was. Um, we, we expected a lot more from ourselves uh, out, of, out of these first three games. We now have three home games, um, Munster and Valencia and the Scarlet, so um, they're all tough. But if we can eradicate some of those errors, if we can keep our fighting spirit and keep our belief, I know we can turn it around. I just come on to Jared there. Um, questions from anyone on the Jared, the outcome again uh, dictated, as Andy says, it says by errors and some good bits of individual play. Um, what are you putting it down to? I mean, you're out there on the field. It was, it was a tough old game, but at times Connacht were, were on the front foot for quite significant parts of it. Yeah, exactly right. That, that was what was so frustrating about it, because you see some really good passages def of defence, of set-piece, against a strong Bulls team, you know, that's, that's their, their bread and butter there. So, but like Friendy said, when individual error creeps in and you can't finish things off or you can't add that extra pass or a couple of phases, you just give the ball back to the Bulls and all of a sudden, you know, we're defending them all five metres out again. And it's, it's so bloody frustrating because, you know, we, we've been working hard, putting ourselves in a really good place, but 
at the end of the day, no one sees that. They just see the 80 minutes that goes in on the pitch on the, on the Friday or the Saturday. And uh, at the moment, we just haven't been able to put together an 80 minute performance. Do you think that's coming soon, or you, you know, Munster are going to be huge? They're not exactly flying either. So it's, it's Friday night is it's well up there. You need a big sports ground night. Absolutely, it's coming soon. You know, I think one thing I can say is you know this group and the preparation that's going into these games. It's it's the best I've, I've seen it since I've been here, the, the preparation that the guys are doing, the conversations they're having. It's, it's, it honestly is second to none, and we're going to click soon, and, and we'll put the performance that we're proud of. But um, we're not, we haven't done it yet, but uh, it's, it's definitely coming, and why not Munster at home? Absolutely, why not? We look forward to it. Thanks, William. Thanks, Paul. Thank you. Oh, no? Yeah. Uh, sorry. Jared, how, how tough was that for defence to break down, and how much of their defensive effort I think they did a, a really good job. Um, you know, there were times we were able to string together phases and, and create opportunities out on the edge, and I think they solved them pretty well. And they forced us to have to kind of go back and, and reset and, get, and try and go again. And, um, and credit to them, they forced error in that. But um, so yeah, I think they, they did well. Yeah, he's a he is a tremendous player, and uh, you can see, yeah, you know, he just like others, and and, we, and they all do it in different ways. I, I thought some of the physicality of some of our players was really really solid there tonight. I thought some of the work off the ball from some was good, but Max got an amazing ability to get on the ball, and and when he does, um, he creates something, and you know he's got a special gift there. But uh, you know he he like all of us, we're sitting in that change room now, very very frustrated, as JB just said, and I thought he just spoke really well there. It will click, and when it does click, it will be a good footy team. Thank you very much. Thank you.